Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and tonight on the project, we are gonna test out the lighting on Black Beauty. As promised guys, that's right. I got my HID lights, I got my Z Moon fog lights, and I got my aux beam in the grill lights that I promised you reviews on. Um, so we're gonna go to a place that I designated on um, Lugal Maps. So I took the liberty of printing up some Lugal Maps for you. You mean, you mean Google? Lugal Maps? What's the matter with you guys? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I got three different distances mapped out. I got one spot at 300 feet, another spot at 700 feet, and my final spot to test is gonna be at 1,000 plus feet. So we're gonna go out there, we're gonna test uh, a combination of lights, my Z moons, my aux beams, and my HID lights, and uh, we're gonna see what we get. We're gonna review it. So, all right, let's take a ride out there and we'll get into position for our test. Go Black Beauty, go. All right guys, we are on the way to my designated testing site. And this borders the runway to the Brookhaven Airport. So we have a nice clear field. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test my Z-Moon fog lights, my aux beam in the grill lights, and we're gonna test my HID conversion lights. So now you guys have seen the install video for the aux beam lights and the Z-Moon lights, but I didn't show you an install video for my HID lights. I did these on Black Beauty years ago. <laughs> Thing with these lights is uh, they're really great they put out a lot of light but they're kind of cheap and they keep breaking on me but that's okay they're cheap enough to replace when they crap out and by the way they did just crap out I had to change my passenger side bulb right before I left my house and this is me changing another cheap ass HID headlight bulb just minutes before filming <laughs> but at least you can see how this is wired up well sort of I got the uh, bulb in here and it's cupped in with these semi waterproof seals uh, the LEDs are wired up together and these go through um, a plug that connects to my parking lights so when the side markers are on parking lights are on um, my my uh, little halo lights are on so that's awesome and then there's three connections for each of these HID bulbs and they get wired up through this mess. Here's a relay for the HIDs. This is a standard ballast. The uh, company is Innovited. Innovited. So, yeah, that's what I keep getting. <laughs> I get so many of these, they keep breaking. So, <laughs> I guess I could explain that in a bit. But yeah, this is just standard wiring harnesses for. Uh, the HID system. Uh, I got a bunch of them. I got the box open on the bench and I just tuck these in. I usually tuck them behind the fender in between the uh, wheel well where it's dry. Um, yeah, I'll put that all back in a second. So yeah, let me show you a couple more things. Now here's my plethora of HID parts. I have so many because a lot of them crapped out before warranty. So I kept getting sent new stuff. Um, it's kind of cool, I guess. It keeps me from buying new parts, even though they're relatively inexpensive. They're probably down to like $30 for a set. <laughs> I have many, many, many sets. Um, Dan, why don't you just save your money and get those really nice, you know, LED whatever lights. Uh, well, I do like them, especially those truck lights. Uh, those are great. But uh, I don't have $300 per bulb, and <laughs> at the rate these keep crapping out, I get to send them back to Amazon for free. They send me new ones because they're under their return limit, and uh, <laughs> I could probably get you know another 20 years out of these bulbs uh, being renewed. Um, yeah, by the time I ever spend $300, so <laughs> that's why I keep using these. Uh, yeah, all right, back to Dan and the future. And yes, it sucks having to replace them and fix them from time to time, but the best part about it is they get nice and hot and bright, and they melt the snow in the winter, and that's a huge plus over any LED lights. So I'm just going to keep rocking these. Uh, I like the headlights that I found for them, especially with these accent lights, these LED halo lights. They match perfectly with the Z-Moon lights now, so I'm going to stick with them. And we're pulling up to our spot, so let's test these lights. All right, guys, we're out of position number one. This is about 300 feet from me to the trees. Um, we got a plane taking off, so I'm gonna catch this real quick. That 
That's right, I told you guys I was right by the airport. We're literally right next to the runway. So position number one, we're at 300 feet. We just have our HID lights on and uh, that's it. Just make out the tree line. Let me pop on the high beams and you can see the difference in that. Oh yeah, the high beams definitely work. You can see much more of the trees. All right, now I'm gonna put on just the aux beams. Here we go, guys. These are just the aux beams. Now you can see because I have them set up as a top shooter, they are lighting well above the trees out over there. That's pretty great. This is 300 feet, no problem for the aux beams. Now the light isn't that wide because they are in the grill and the slats of the grill limit the light dispersion to the sides. So right now we have a straight on in the grill aux beam light. All right, now I'm gonna turn the aux beams off and I'm gonna throw on the Z-Moons. Here we go, guys. Now these are the Z-Moons. They're the fog lights, as expected. They have a much wider spread. They're a little bit lower to the ground. And these have the floodlights built in, so I got a whole nice wide shot. It's really looking nice. All right, now I'm gonna throw on everything. I'm gonna throw on the Z-Moons, the aux beams, and my HIDs, and let's light this place up. All right, guys, we got my HIDs, we got my aux beams, and we got the Z-Moons. The Z-Moon light beam is so wide that you can't even see it in this lens. Now, I'm not zoomed in or anything. I am just at normal distance, normal zoom, and this lights up everything. There is no problem whatsoever with this setup. That's super bright. All right, guys, I'm going to go back. We're going to do seven. We're going to go to 700 feet. We'll see what happens. now and these are just the HIDs now for me I can see that the trees have a soft glow now you probably can't see this on camera I'm sorry I don't have a great camera but I can tell you right now I'm seeing a little bit of lighting from these headlights on the trees so 700 feet not too bad all right let me throw the Z moon and the aux beams on right now we're gonna cut to the chase we're gonna see if we can light up some of those trees all right Damn guys, this is bright. I don't even know how I'm looking at you right now. I definitely can't see the camera, but this is insane. These lights are more than bright and they are definitely illuminating that tree line. The stop sign is so bright, you have no problem seeing that coming up on the dark intersection. You'll be able to see that forever. 700 feet, no problem. All right, I'm just gonna max this out right now. I'm gonna go a thousand feet plus and see what this stuff could do. All right guys, we're out here with all the lights on. We're at over a thousand feet and I can barely see the tree line. It's kind of lit up. I would say that it's outside of the useful range of this light pattern, this light beam. Um, definitely the stop sign is glowing like daytime and that's about 700 feet still. You can see that all along this fence here, it's still lit up and anything that's reflective within a thousand feet is gonna be lit up and sent right back to you. Once again, I'm sorry that you probably can't see this as well as I can with the naked eye. Uh, maybe one day I'll upgrade my camera equipment, but that's neither here nor there. That's in the future. Right now, I'm just going to say that these aux beams are awesome and the Z-Moons, they're awesome too. Uh, I am definitely happy with this. I hope that this is proof for you guys that I'm not just running my mouth. These things actually work. It's lit up like daytime. Uh, you could probably have a baseball game here on this field at night with just these lights alone. So. That's it, I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. All right, guys, that's it for my lighting review video. Um, I hope you were able to take away some valuable information from the poor quality shots that I was able to get. Uh, I apologize for the quality of my camera. One day we'll work on getting some better equipment. Uh, but as for the lighting equipment, uh, we'll start with the Z-Moon light bars. Uh, now, those are the six inch Z-Moon light bars. They are the perfect size for replacing the fog lights on an XJ but they are very bright and you shouldn't be driving them on the road 
as uh, driving lights, um, off-road use only. The uh, aux beam, the aux beam four inch side shooter light pods, those are incredibly bright and I have them set up in the vertical position so they're a top shooter. From 300 feet they were blasting the tops of trees so that was pretty sick. Now the way the slats are on the XJ grill, it's blocking some light coming out the side so that might not be a bad thing. Um, it's definitely perfect for straight on and once again the Z1 lights take care of all that side lighting. Now my driving lights, my HID conversions, those are bright also, um, but they're not blasting you with full on by Xenon because the aftermarket lenses I have, they do have that concave piece of glass that disperses the light a little better. So that's kind of close to a real by Xenon, Xenon um, HID light. So I'm really happy with that. Again, they heat up the snow in the winter, it melts everything. So I'm not gonna switch to LEDs, I'm just not gonna do it. Um, they're very cheap, they're easily replaced, and uh, I'm not going to spend $300 on uh, an LED setup when those are probably putting out more light. So that's basically it guys. My three systems, I got the aux beam, the Z-moons, and the HID driving lights. <laughs> a combination of those is putting out a ton of lights. I don't think I need anything else. Um, that's it. That's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this satisfied your curiosity about all the lighting I installed. Um, I hope you like them. If you want, again, I'm going to put a link in the description. Um, I'm maybe going to try to get a link for the HID setup I have. I know there's a ton of places. They all make the same things. They're all made in China. They're all the same. But um, yeah, they work. So that's what I like. Well, <laughs> they work when they work, if you know what I mean. But uh, that's it, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, thank you for watching, hit that little bell, get the notifications whenever my videos come out, and I'm going to try to keep putting out more videos for you. Maybe I'll upgrade some equipment, and uh, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. Peace.